Next patron question is from Oxymoron, aka our uh, local Hindu pub patron. Um, saying, <laughs> what do you think about the Hindu American Foundation and other Hindu organizations' arguments against why the recogni recognition of caste as a protected category or um, potentially impacts Hindu American community in a negative manner. So he's referring to how the um, California State University system, which is the largest four year university system in the United States, recently accepted caste as a um, as part of an anti discrimination policy. So just making sure that discrimination discrimin on discrimination on the basis of caste is included within their policies um as something that they can uh have a means of addressing and there's been a lot of um outrage over this and there's been a lot of celebration about this and the hindu american foundation was one of the groups that spoke out against this policy um so a lot of their arguments that i saw i mean um from the Hindu American Foundation specifically had to do with they think that this creates an undue burden on South Asians in particular. And um, I guess in some ways that's correct because they are trying to address a phenomenon that is originating from South Asia. And I'm not saying that South Asia is the only um, community that or area that practices caste because that's just not true um but that was it's people from that community that are experienced that issue like it is it's south asians like it wasn't a nepali student who was one of the activists who pushed for this right um and uh frankly it's the caste system that most people in the west are most familiar with um, so I think it, the, when you're talking about like, oh, how this affects Hindu American community in a negative manner, the actual policy itself, I haven't been able to find the written stated policy and I've been looking for it because I want to find it because it matters what's the actual verbiage of the policy. But what I've seen written about it is that it's just about caste. It doesn't talk about Hindus in particular because they know that it's not, exclusive to Hindu communities, right? So one could say, okay, whether or not that's true, most people automatically associate it with the Hindu community. So they will be the ones that be most impacted because they're the ones who are going to have like the target on their back, so to speak, because a, a lot of people mistakenly believe that this is exclusively a Hindu thing. Um, in terms of like just dialing down because oxymoron was messaging us about um, comparing this policy to um, the opposition that ex-Muslims of North America had towards Ilhan Omar's Islamophobia bill. And their opposition to that bill was that Islamophobia is not well-defined and that Islamophobia is often just used as an aspersion to silence dissent and to silence critics. Um, as opposed to actually talking about real bigotry that people face. So I kind of understand the comparison. The only thing that I'd be inclined wait, to... Wait, wait, I don't understand. I don't understand. Can you explain what, do, what does it get to do with you? So do you remember Ilhan Omar's Islamophobia bill? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what does this get to do with that? So... They were comparing XMNA opposing the Islamophobia bill to the Hindu American Foundation yeah, opposing the caste discrimination bill. Yeah. Because they're saying that they are what the criticism for XMNA was that Islamophobia is not well I understand defined. That part. And then yeah. they're saying that the Hindu American Foundation is amongst other things saying that casteism isn't well defined and it needs to be well defined to be able to make sure that it isn't used as a source of um painting like a just a broad and a broad brush against people just like casting aspersions too quickly and so in general that is one thing that i can very broadly agree on like this does need to be very tightly defined 
because I have friends who like, they are very much against caste. Um, they're against casteism, and they, but at the same time, they're like, well, I don't want some of my family or friends who just happen to have like a higher caste last name to automatically like have um, potentially be more subject to these kinds of discrimination policies just because some sources consider them to be upper caste in one place but in reality like their lived experience is not really that because obviously caste is very um uh geographically relative so just where you're supposedly high caste one place that doesn't mean that that's actually like your experience or the reality based on where you live because you live somewhere else and it's not like that um so i and that's one of the reasons why i was looking for finding CSU's actual policy as it is written and stated, because I do think that this does need to be very tightly defined because I do see how if applied very badly, people from a higher caste background could be subject to more scrutiny than other people. All right, let me get at this because they have a lot to say about this, okay? First of all, um, yes, I agree casteism needs to be better defined, but it's the fact that the this Hindu, what is a Hindu organization, comes and defends it, has a knee-jerk knee reaction over people trying to fight against anti-caste discrimination, by itself shows to me that they know that Hinduism is the biggest, you know, has the greatest responsibility when it comes to anti-caste discrimination, right? Um, but, but this is not, so here's the thing, a lot of religious communities, religious organizations, right, um, want to defend their religion but because they know that's a hard sell to us secularists, they pretend like they're defending their people, right? So people are often, a lot of Muslims, not all of them, right, get more upset over attack on Islam than attack on Muslims, right? But they have to sell the idea that our attacks against Islam they have to act like this is an attack on people um so for it to be able to for, to oppose it right that's why that's why we have a problem with the term islamophobia because they come and act like islamophobia means like we're going out and targeting muslims and making their lives more difficult we, you know and some people are but you use some people like using the term islamophobia tries to muddy the you know you know, tries to make it more difficult for you to recognize when is that happening and when it's not. So it's very interesting where they, whoever is comparing the opposition, uh, whoever is considering this um, suggestion of anti-caste discrimination, they're comparing that to um, people bringing up Islamophobia acquisition because what they're doing is actually closer to that, right? Because what these Hindu organizations are trying to do is that they are butthurt because the mention of casteism and fighting that is they know that that condemns Hinduism more than anything else. I know there are other traditions that have casteism, right? But they condemns Hinduism more than anything else. It doesn't condemn Hindus. It doesn't condemn Hindus. It condemns Hinduism. But they have to act like this is an anti-Hindu American thing. But who thinks Hindu Americans are most Hindu Americans are doing enforcing caste system in America, right? They're, like mo most people don't think like your average Hindu is doing anything like that. Nobody, like I don't think anybody assumes that. You're just pretending like this is going to be the backlash, but, but you're actually, you're not trying to defend Hindu Americans. You're trying, what you're actually trying to do is to defend Hinduism, but you want to have it, you want to sell it as if you're defending uh, Hindus, right? But that's not what you're doing, right? You're, you're 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 defending a tradition, you're defending an ideology, and that's what you're trying to do, right? It's very, but it's also I'm also thinking this is very helpful that they are fighting back, right? Because of the negative, uh, because it basically shows 
when you when you go out when you don't even mention like Hinduism and you go like, hey, we're gonna fight the caste the, uh, the caste system, and the first, the major challenge to that is the Hindu a Hindu organization. We want that to happen because we want to broadcast to the world like, oh, look who's here to complain, right? Like you're telling on yourself, right? You're the the the, the image. I mean, you might argue like unjustifiably, but this is such a bad PR for you because you're like, oh, look who's upset about us being against the caste system. Like, oh, well, 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 <laughs> right? It's very similar to uh, Christians uh, complaining about being attacked when you're trying to fight homophobia, right? People are like, we, we feel attacked. Like, well, what does that say about you? <laughs> <laughs> if we're if we're anti homophobia and you feel attacked, what does that say about you, right? So it's a really, uh, it's a you know it works in our favor for us to be able to um, you know embarrass them, right? Um, and also another thing about this whole like they're like oh this is like you guys are being hypocrites because you you guys are against the term Islamophobia. Um, so you should, because it's not very well defined, you should be very against this as well. Our problems with the term Islamophobia goes way more than it's not being like, you're like picking on one of the many reasons why people have an issue with it. Like, I don't think XMNA is like, oh, this is uh, like coming up with their statement and saying Islamophobia is a problematic term only because it's not well defined, <laughs> right? Islamophobia will still have, like, that's like a big like there's a huge list of problems that we have with the term Islamophobia. That's like a small part of it. Like if Islamophobia was defined well, that would not make it okay. You're still mixing, making you. You still are mixing people with their ideology. You're, you know, like we like we think we don't think like you should make Islamophobia, like, I mean, I, at least I don't think you should make Islamophobia defined better. I think like you should just use terms like anti-Muslim bigotry instead, right? So, you know, so yeah, I, I mean, if your problem is with the casteism um, discrimination thing, anti-fighting against casteism is that it's not very well defined, well, okay, that's a fair criticism, but, but we shouldn't get, you can define it better, but you, you should still have those measures to fight it, right? So, but the, the problem with Islamophobia is that even if you define it better, it's still a very problematic word to use. It still is a shield to use against all forms of criticism against Islam. And it would be a lot better if you just use that term anti-Muslim bigotry. So, the, and another, you know, another difference is that we agree that anti-Muslim bigotry is a thing and it's a huge problem. Like people, like people think like we have a problem with Islamophobia and people think like because we're dismissing we're thinking like Muslims are not victims. Muslims are the victims. Muslims are major victims of bigotry. So, um, so if we want to like protect like lower caste people or outcast people or uh, abolish the caste system as a whole, um, we're not being hypocrites. As in, as in, we, we it's not like we don't want to do the same thing with Muslims. Like when we have an opposition with the term Islamophobia, it's not because we don't think that we should also fight against anti-Muslim bigotry. We want that to also be there. We think it would be more effective if it was you know, if you use the proper label, which is anti-Muslim bigotry. So we're not saying, oh, don't find, don't don't protect Muslims, but protect the Dalits and protect the I don't know the uh, lower caste or whatever, right? Mm, no, protect both of them. So so please understand what the what we have what the issue with the Islamophobia term is, right? Um, a more accurate example would be if if the Muslim community. Uh, if more Muslim organ no Muslim community, a Muslim organization in the United States came out and they said like we feel attacked because of you having anti-child marriage laws, right? This is okay. So what you're claiming, you say like, oh my God, this anti-caste discrimination procedures make people at uh, be anti like it will negatively impact the Hindu American community. Think about what that sounds like. Think, I'm just going to rephrase everything, okay? And it, think about you're actually, what you're saying is more anti-Hindu American, okay? What you're saying is very, like these Hindu organizations are actually attacking Hindu Americans, these, not the anti-discrimination laws. Because think about how anti-Muslim a Muslim organization will sound like 
like how what their view of Muslims would be like if they said these anti-child marriage laws will potentially have a negative impact on Muslim Americans. Just imagine what that sounds like. That's what you sound like when you say that. That's like what Daniel Hikikachu sounds like. <laughs> well, yeah. But like, and, and how, isn't that a bigger attack on the Muslims than the anti, like, isn't that a greater insult on Muslims, American Muslims, than the anti-child uh, and child marriage law itself? So, yeah, that's my response. Yeah, I think, well, people, in response to what I was saying, people are saying, well, you know, casteism is well-defined, blah, blah, blah. I know in the rest of the world, casteism is well-defined. I'm talking about specifically the verbiage that is used in this policy it has to be very well-defined because this is going to be subject to legal scrutiny. You know, I'm not talking, I'm not like... Oh, actually, now yeah. that you say that, I don't even know if it's like, we're just assuming we're t taking the word of the oxymoron that here as a, uh, that is not very well defined. Is it maybe, maybe actually when, if you look I at it. I haven't been able to find the verbiage. I've been trying to track it down, but that was also the accusation of the Hindu American mm -hmm. foundation and the 80 plus anonymous CSU faculty who signed that okay. scathing letter. If so. it's yeah, but, but I, uh, excuse me if I'm skeptical, if, 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 if if your actual problem with it is that it's not very well defined, then hey, great criticism. Let's take it. Let's define it better. Okay. But somehow I doubt that that's the issue they have with it. Somehow I doubt that if they come up with now a better definition, they're going to be like, oh, okay, now we're okay with this anti-caste discrimination. Good, good job. I just think they're against the whole thing. Okay. And that's just an excuse, right? So just for reference, just for, you know, just for as an example, if you define Islamophobia better, I'm still going to be against it. Okay. I'm, you know, but, and I think like, you know, this, the definition, I am transparent about the fact that the, 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 the lack of clarity over the dis definition is not my only issue with it. The whole thing is probably a, a mess, right? Are you going to also be transparent about the fact that the, the, the lack of clarity in the definition is not the only issue with it, and you're just against uh, measures of anti-caste discrimination. I mean, I'm not talking about oxymoron, but I'm talking about uh, the Hindu. Yeah, exactly. If the, if that issue was fixed, would you still oppose it? Because yeah. that's my only concern. I still want this on the books. Like, but if it yes, can yes. be fixed, that's what I want. If it should be yeah. fixed, that's what I want. But I st I would still like it to be there. <laughs> The problem with it is that I think like what they, they might be hesitant about defining it um, more accurately because if you define it more accurately, then either it's going to be as broad as any form of discrimination. But if you want to be more accurate about what you mean by caste, then you might have to refer to the traditions that do have caste system. And then they'd be like, oh. oh. Now Maybe. you're sig now you're signaling us out, right? So how could you be more specific about your definition of anti-caste discrimination without actually having any, any reference to the traditions that are like in, that are doing it? Because if you don't, then you're like, hey, this just sounds like discrimination to me. What is this? You know, it's not caste, right? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it's very tough. It's a very very fine yeah. line you have to walk. This yeah. is why we need good lawyers, guys. Uh Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.